Wolfgang Quelch. Good morning, dear guests. Here you see the first SUV convertible in the compact class. It's the T-Cross Breeze. And this vehicle merges the visuals and the properties of an SUV with the properties of a convertible. And it's not just probably me, you just want to get in and drive where spring is further advanced than here. And I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, concept car, the Breeze, has a realistic background because the T-Cross is part and parcel of our big SUV cavalcade at Volkswagen. As you've heard, it uh, is beginning with the Tiguan of the second generation, will begin shortly, and as expected, we're very successful there. And it won't take long. In just a few months, we'll complete our SUV range at Volkswagen, completed by a completely new mid-sized SUV. And that's a vehicle which is tailor-made to the needs of the market in the US and in China. And not enough with that. In parallel, we are intensively driving forward the development of the successor of the SUV flagship, our Touareg. So on top of the Tiguan, we're talking about two new SUVs. And the question is, what is happening below the Tiguan level? And if you look at it in detail, there is space for two new SUVs. And I believe I won't tell too much if I say that the T-Rock will be the smaller out of the two, and small but fine is the motto with its short overhang in top and front and the back, its large wheels and its sassy proportions. This T-Rock is fresh and T-Cross is fresh and dynamic, as you would expect it for young customers. This not only applies to the exterior but to the interior as well. The display in front of the driver and the infotainment on the center console are melding into the digital cockpit of tomorrow. And please believe me, this not only looks great, you can operate it very easily. This is mainly due to the specification and development already featured in simple and straightforward terms. It needs to be simple and straightforward and intuitive. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, inside this vehicle, you will find a well-thought-out mixture of controls with touch-sensitive surfaces complemented by gesture control and clearly complemented by classical controls and switches at the points where they are ergonomically uh, best placed. One example is the center console, a controls unit made of three rollers, which are very easy to roll at your fingertips are the settings for the twin clutch gearbox, for the adaptive uh, chassis control, and for the EPB, the electronic parking brake. It's very important to me to say at this point that this is no science fiction. Everything we see in the interior of the vehicle is nothing but a concrete sneak preview to onto tomorrow's production models. The Golf Touch is close to production. We showed it a couple of weeks ago in Las Vegas, and it points the way. 
back from Las Vegas, from the Gulf, touch back to the T-Cross. In addition to its design and HMI, it features a third highlight I will not keep from you, and that's its sound system. That was developed together with Beats Audio as well. There are a couple of facts, 300 watts output, six speakers, eight channels, and a centrally located subwoofer in the cabin that creates an impressive sound escape inside the cabin. If I consider it, it could have been called T-Cross Beats. Thank you very much. And Turbo is going to pick up from here. <laughs>